video today, everybody. Uh, what I want to run through is how to separate out um, objects in Lime Exporter or with Lime Exporter uh, if you don't have 3ds Max. Obviously, if you have 3ds Max, it's as easy as going in, deleting the certain objects, or just exporting the ones that you want. But if you are using the online converter, you actually only have the option of um, sort of taking out the entire thing. And then if you go into Lumion with that, the issue you kind of run into is that the plants that you download, uh, they will be all grouped together. Uh, and this is something that I actually went through with a viewer that had reached out to me asking this same, uh, asking this same uh, question basically of how do you do this. So I'm going to show you. Uh, if you go to the Lime exporter upload, uh, you take your 3ds Max file, you put it into a zip folder, and then you throw it in here. It has to be in a zip folder. It says zip rar uh, 7z format, uh, and that's the only way. Um, now you can say center to origin. I find most of the time your files are already centered like that, so it's not a big deal. And then I select FBX for this. Now I've already converted it, so you just click convert. And just to save us a bit of time, I have the window here when it's done. Uh, you go to download your file, and then I already have that done as well. So that's right here. Um, what I'm going to do is you just extract it to a location on your desktop. And I have it in the Lime exporter here. So as you can see, this Trop flower set, that is um, that is the FBX file. Now, I will just mention this, that this particular model does actually come with an FBX file. So I could just bring that into Blender, but I want to show you guys how it's done if all you have with Lime exporter is the 3ds Max file and you don't have access to 3ds Max. So what we do from here is you basically take any maps that you need, you drop them in here so uh, you can find all these flower textures here. Now, it should be good to go into Blender. Now, if you're not a Blender user, don't worry about it. This is extremely basic stuff. Like it's it's going to be basically hitting just the G button a couple of times, hitting delete and stuff that is not really like you should be able to kind of do it in any software. Like do not worry about this. Even if you have no experience with Blender, you can do this trick. So click on this cube, delete it, and you're going to go to import FBX. Now, if you don't see this, that just might be because it's turned like the um, FBX import is turned off. It is an add on in Blender. So all you have to do is go to edit preferences, add ons, and then just go to the search bar and type in FBX and it should come right here. It's built into Blender, so it will be there. Um, also, yeah, it's like it, you could do this with OBJ, but I, I, it's kind of the same thing. You just type, you know, OBJ and then the uh, wavefront is right there. So yeah, we're good to go then. Uh, file import FBX. I'm going to go to your Lime exporter folder, wherever you saved it. And I'm going to pick the Trop flower set 01 V-Ray. So this might just take a moment. But as you can see, here it is. Um, and if you hold the middle mouse button, you can orbit. And if you hold shift the middle mouse button, you'll pan. So not a big deal if you don't know how to do that. That's just kind of some basic navigation stuff in Blender. So what you want to do, though, is you want to come over to this scene collection on the right hand side here. You want to click on this, add a new collection. So click and then left click and then right click. New collection, we'll call this phase one. Uh, you're going to click on the big plant, hold shift, and then click again down here. And we're going to drag this over to phase one. And then if you just kind of have that out of the way, what you can do is just hit this check mark. Now it's out of the way. You can grab these here. And then you're going to come up to the scene collection. I guess I shouldn't have highlighted that there, but let's go to scene, scene collection, new collection, phase two. And then we might as well make the third one right now. So scene collection, new collection, phase three. If you want to rename this, I just double tap it, but I believe you can just right click on this too. Just double tap though. I think that's the easiest way. So we're going to highlight this one. Now this is phase two. So we're going to drag that here. We can just tick that off and then you're going to grab this one and you're going to drag it in here. So all the vases are separated out. We can turn these back on. Um, and if you see these little orange dots here, these are actually where the origin points are for these particular models. Um, so that is going to be important because we do, um, we are going to be kind of overriding those, but it, it can be weird to maneuver around um, if those are all over the place. So something that is probably the easiest way is that if you're, these orange dots are all over the place, just grab everything, go to object, set origin, origin to geometry. Again, it's probably not important for most models, but it's just good to know this just in case. 
So what we need to do though, is the first thing, um, first thing we want to export, sorry, is that we want to get this middle plan. So click vase one, uh, you can just double click both of these, or you can click on the vase here and go to select objects. So I'm going to go to file export FBX. Uh, I'm going to go to my desktop. I just I'll put these as a little test, but I'll get rid of these. So yeah, we'll call this vase one and you want to say limit to selected objects. So um, if you don't have this selected, everything in the scene is going to be exported, but we only want the selected plants. So what that will let us do is go to vase one export. Now, this one is good to go. It's just going to take a moment to export. All right, so that's good now. Uh, I'm going to click this check mark to turn it off. Now, this is the part that is probably the hardest part. It's still not that hard, but this is the part that I could see some people getting kind of weirded out by. So just draw a box around this plant. Hit G Y because this locks it uh, to the uh, yellow ac or sorry, <laughs> the green axis. So uh, G also means grab. So we're basically saying grab along the Y axis. So you're just going to make it so that it lines up with the red axis and then you're going to hit GX and you're just going to make this line up with the green axis. Um, that's probably the easiest way of doing this. It's because we want the plant to be right in the center of the world. So zero, 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 because that is where the origin point is going to appear inside of Lumion. So now we can go export FBX, make sure that selected objects is clicked on. Still, we're going to rename this vase to export. So same thing, tick this off, grab these GY, GX and now we go export FBX phase three export and um, click back into Lumion I'll delete this one because we don't need it anymore and I will just delete that one because I was uh, playing around with that so now we're going to import this into Lumion and let's see how it looks um, I think this particular model, the textures came from a different folder. Yeah, so the textures are just coming in black. I think if you just put all the textures into one file, uh, everything works. But um, yeah, it's just a little bit weird there. Um, maps, and we'll call this, yeah, so TF1 leaves. We'll just kind of put some textures on here quickly. Uh, the vase. Um, yeah, so I'll just change this to like a Lumion material. Uh, the bark standard. Um, where? Okay, so I guess I'll just make this a random wood texture than that I already have because I'm not sure where the bark is for this one. But uh, yeah, that's good enough. So I think that that one is good. Okay, so as you can see now, though, if I get out of material mode, uh, content library, now I can drag around this one individual plant. So let's uh, do this with the others as well. Phase two. And now let's do phase three. Right, there that is. And I'm going to grab this texture, copy, paste. I, I know I could make it like the white phase or whatever, but it's not necessary. Um, we're going to then just grab the Lumion texture again uh, for dirt. Just put that there and put that there. Now we'll just continue through and just kind of finish putting uh, the leaf textures on here. Uh, so I think this was, oh, I actually see where the bark is now. So this one is actually supposed to be like this. Yeah, so that's the effect they're going for. Uh, that one looks good. And then this one must be three, I guess. Uh, no, so this one is two and then this one is three here. Um, and as I mentioned, Lime Exporter does typically work with the textures. I think for this particular scene, I just didn't put them together um, before I exported it. So that's all that uh, really matters. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of work, but it's not a big deal. Uh, throw that here. And then, yeah, so those are all ready to go. Um, obviously, if they're in your import folders, um, they're going to be like this whenever you need. So if you want to drop another one in, um, it's ready to go. And now you can sort of separate them out as much as you need to be. Uh, you can rotate them individually and, oh, that's a movement. I was going to say it's rotating weird, but yeah, you can rotate them individually. Uh, you can move them individually 
And yeah, Blender is completely free. So it's uh, really, there's no, there's no excuse if uh, you don't want to learn how to use it. Uh, I do really, really think that Blender is one of the best things that a Lumion user can learn um, if you don't have 3ds Max, because as nice as SketchUp is, uh, you will not learn all of the aspects of ArchViz that I think you do learn with Blender, things like UV unwrapping. Uh, even if you play around with Blender's lighting a little bit, I find that you'll learn a lot more about Lumion lighting uh, in a way that I find SketchUp can't really teach you. So I think that if you ever want to play around with Blender, this is the perfect tutorial just to kind of get your foot in the door with it. Um, and it makes it so that uh, if you do have a Lime exporter and you need to separate these out, now you have basically full control over your 3ds max files that before you kind of brought them in you know you might have a bunch of plants all together and you're like well i can't really do anything about this so um yeah i'm really really excited that i have lime exporter now and i will be making some more videos about it coming up uh because i just think lime exporter is so so cool um that uh, they put that together because it, it really opens up a lot of doors for lumion users um, especially with all the models that you get from evermotion or turbo squid and stuff like that like um converting those into lumion uh, compatible sort of formats is terrible, but uh, Lime Exporter makes it really, really easy. So uh, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button uh, and also hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you're not already subscribed. Uh, if you are subscribed, I just want to say thank you very much for supporting the channel. Uh, we did get quite a few subscribers last week, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, so to all the new subscribers as well, I just want to say thank you very much for uh, sticking around the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.